What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is um, collective reading for Capsu Sage and everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free, free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general reading. Only take the messages that resonate. It's very, very, very important. Just saying. I want to say real quick before we get started. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. I appreciate every like, subscribe, share, unlike, um, and um, word of mouth of the channel. It really, really helps my channel grow. Um, single mom of two kids, so it truly, truly does help. I truly appreciate all the love and support. I do. From the bottom of my heart chakra, I do. Um, and two, I want to say real quick, thanks so much um, for uh, JDS Tarot. Um, he shouted me out on his channel on one of his readings recently. And um, I love you too, boo. Just saying. I love you too. Just saying. Okay. So we're going to get rolling. I got a um, channeled in. Oh, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, uh, I don't know. I hope everybody has a peaceful Thanksgiving. Um, you know, I did a, I had a channeling in a, couple days ago about some crazy Thanksgiving happenings happening soon so hopefully that doesn't happen to any of you guys um maybe you'll hear about some of that mess just about somebody else happened to hopefully not you um because that was some crazy stuff I personally will be by my lonesome on Thanksgiving but it's not like a oh feel sorry for me lonesome it'll be a very peaceful meditative lonesome um I will probably go to the park um everybody uh, celebrate Thanksgiving somewhere, and I'd much rather be at a park than a bunch of drama field people drunk on turkey and beer. Just saying, uh, but that's just me. <laughs> okay, so, but yeah. Oh, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot Five. The links in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, move in mo. Um, and that's it. Yeah, let's get rolling. Oh, and yeah, one more thing. I did, uh, I made a separate video for it, but I'm going to reiterate it um, for everybody that watches this one and maybe you didn't watch the other one. Um, I'm officially back in the workforce now, um, so I will not do the daily tea at 9 a.m. every day like I have been doing sin um, since the summertime. So I just want to make that clear. I will do it, but it'll probably be pre-recorded videos like it was before the summertime. Um because of the change. So just let everybody know. Okay. So the channel I received was um, through many series of chain of events, um, information and air sign is about to acquire from a particular um, corporate office is about to create many positive, I, I'm sorry, many negative series of chain of events for a water sign film. Um, fraud and theft is what I heard. This air sign is really about to be on this. So um, you plug it in however that resonates. Holy crap, somebody's about to bust somebody for some fraud and theft, uh, apparently. Um, and apparently it's a air sign um, masculine on this. So um, you plug it in however it resonates. Um, air sign masculine energy, water sign femme energy. Um, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Benhamer, Jupiter. Jupiter. Uh, the fraud and thefter is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio film. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Benhamer, Jupiter. Jupiter. You plug it in how it resonates, but I heard basically through many series of chain of events, information acquired from a corp uh, from corporate office somewhere um, is about to be used um, against this water sign for theft and fraud is what it sounds like. Um, it sounds like the air sign is going to acquire it from a corporate office or maybe I feel either the air sign works in the corporate office at this place, whatever place it is in the universe, or they are contacting the corporate office to get this important information. Um, it's something regarding tax, um, theft and fraud. Um, very important survey with very important information of a fire sign. Okay, I heard very important information. 
very important survey regarding a fire sign. So very, very important survey with very important information in the survey regarding a fire sign. Um, so either this air sign works in corporate or an air sign has authority and privileges to contact it from th corporate because it heard it's of a fire sign. So they have to have privileges, credentials, clearance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to get somebody's private information is what I'm trying to say. Um, so they have to have some kind of credentials and clearance to obtain somebody else's private information. Um, so I'm thinking maybe an investigator, I'm thinking they're an investigator or the feds or CIA or Marshall Energy or governmental entity agency, energy, state, local, federal, something of that nature. They have to have credentials and clearance to get somebody else's private information. Like, you know, like I'm a nurse. Um, I work under a nursing license. I can't just walk up in there and with, with no nursing license, no CNA license, of course I'm not a CNA, but I'm just saying, um, no health, you just can't walk into a healthcare building is what I'm trying to say and just get a job. You have to be credentialed is what I'm trying to say. You have to be credentialed. You have to have the proper credentials is what I'm trying to say. So that's what I think this, this air sign has to have the proper credentials. I didn't hear specifically who they were. Like I said, I feel they could either work in corporate or they have, the, have to have the proper credentials to get this information, but it's information on a fire sign. Um, but it sounds like a water sign femme, fire sign feminine. Okay, I just heard fire sign fem. So fire sign fem's information, but a water sign fem theft and frauded the fire sign fem. But this air sign, I think, is catching on to this or is about to catch on to this and is about to expose the water sign. That's exactly what I think. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, my goodness. Definitely on to this water sign feminine. Okay, I heard definitely on to this water sign fam. And this water sign feminine will, through many, many series of chain events, expose a Libra feminine as well. Okay, and I heard through many series of chain events, this water sign fam will expose a Libra fem as well. So this air, air sign masculine's on to this. Uh, it's it's fraud and theft of a fire sign fem's information. Um, but he's on to the water sign. Something to do with corporate. So there's some kind of very important survey and information that, of the fire signs that is going to corporate or is about to go to corporate. Um, it's probably personal identification information. Name, date of birth. I'm thinking name, date of birth, social security number, possibly or green card number. Um, you take it out, resonates, or um, or something of that nature. Um, I'm thinking date of birth, social security number, or green card um, number, or um, a name, a name. That's or or um, driver's license number, possibly for some, uh, if they if they have a driver's license. Um, that's what I'm thinking, some kind of survey information um, that you would put on a survey, um, but it's an individual, it's a fire sign fem, I heard. But it's regarding theft and fraud, so it has to be personal identification information, is what I'm saying. But this air sign's on, air sign's on, onto the water sign fem. But I heard basically, once he starts creating this series of chain events, so once he gets the information in this fire sign fem, sounds like he's going to, take it upon himself to get it because it sounds like he's on to this water sign fem. The water sign fem, it sounds like it's going to start divulging information on a leap of them. So you plug in how that resonates, if that resonates for you, that's pretty strong, man. We've already got four people up in here. Spirit messages you have reflected. It's going to be huge. Stolen home, stolen property. Okay, I heard it's going to be huge. Stolen homes and stolen property. And stolen vehicle. 
My God, stolen homes, homes, plural, so two or more homes of this fire sign, um, stolen vehicle, and stolen property. So maybe it's some kind of land or business or land a business is on or uh, structures on. Uh, I feel I heard property, so some kind of land of some shape, form, or fashion. Homes, uh, so two plus homes and at least one vehicle. Um, it sounds like it was stolen from this fire sign. Um, holy crap, that is so crazy. Princess of Swords upright, Princess of Cups upright, two of Swords reversed. Someone's about to, is heavily contemplating giving an offer, dream offer of a lifetime to someone, job opportunity, but they are still on the fence. Amazing job opportunity. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Someone's still uh, contemplating on giving an amazing job opportunity to someone, her job of a lifetime, um, but they're still on the fence. So two of swords reverse is on the fence energy. Um, giving loving kind of the job opportunity of a lifetime and um, honesty, truth, and clarity regarding the job offer. Um, but I heard they're still on the fence. So I think if this resonates for you, they're, they're still in their air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy um, to offer it to you. They haven't done it yet, but they it looks like they're about to. They want to be giving loving and kind to you, um, but they haven't done it yet. Many series of time events soon is going to cause offer of this job opportunity. This person's going to realize they need to do it soon. Okay, I heard many through many series of time events, um, this offer of this job, wonderful, amazing job opportunity of a lifetime. Now, everybody has different perspectives of what job opportunity of a lifetime is. Just saying, for real, for real. Um, but it sounds like it would be a job opportunity of a lifetime to you, is what I'm trying to say. But I heard basically through many series of shame events, um, it's going to come out. It's going to come out soon because of some kind of series of shame events that's going to make it come sooner than this person thought. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But they are on the fence right now, but it sounds like it's going to speed things up. A particular Leo is about to get a visit from police soon. Some this will be positive, some this will be negative. The one on the positive side, they are leery of the police now because they have been severely wronged. But those wrongs will be righted soon. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my God. So Leo energy strong. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and mid -hamer, Jupiter, masculine, and femme. Um, but there's one Leo it's going to go bad for um, in the universe. It sounds like it sounds like they might um, get a warrant out for their arrest or, get, um, or have an indictment or something of that nature. But... It's going to go badly for them. I feel they're going to get arrested or have a search warrant or something like that and um, or SWAT team come or something like that. But there's another Leo I heard that has been wronged by the police recently and they are leery of the police. So they, um, I don't, for, for whatever Leo this resonates with, I don't feel they were leery of the police previous. Um, they were not previous, but they were severely wrong. 
Many are realizing this now. Okay. Okay. So I heard they were not leery of the police re uh, before this. Um, it sounds like it's been in the recent past that this Leo has been severely wronged by the police in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, however, that resonates in the universe. But I heard they were not leery of the police before this incident occurred. But since this incident occurred, they are leery of the police now. And of course, yeah, you would be leery of the police if you had some kind of horrible wrong happen to you when you always trusted in the police to serve and protect. Um, and then they wrong you when you've never wronged them a day in their life. I mean, yeah, I don't care what sign you are, Leo, Caps, whoever. Um, of course that would happen, of course. But so I could see why they'd be leery is what I'm saying for the light side Leo, because there's one dark side Leo that's about to get it on the negative realm of the police. Um, but there's one light side that, that was wrong. And, um, but I heard the police is going to come to them in a positive way. Um, and right the wrongs in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, however that resonates. There will be a conversation and an apology. And many more series of chain of events. Okay, I heard there will be a conversation and an apology and many more series of chain of events. So for the Leo that was recently wronged in the universe, basically, um, there will be a conversation and an apology and many more series of chain of events. Uh, I think positive occur for that Leo because I heard they were severely wronged by the police. So um, something happened to cause them to be severely wrong. But now they're leery of the police. They were not leery in the past, but they are leery now because of that incident. But I heard the police are realizing this now and there will be some kind of conversation and um, an apology and then many more series of chain events. So whatever the many more series of chain events are that occur after that, I'm assuming positive. I'm assuming positive. And for the other dark side Leo, there is going to be hell to pay for that Leo. Hell to pay. And a Libra. And a Pisces. And a Gemini. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, okay. So we're pulling in two Leos, a dark side and a light side. One was wrong. One's about to get held pay, basically. Heard a Leo, a Libra, a Pisces, and a Gemini held to pay energy, held to pay energy for these people. They have done something to per, um, person, people, place, situation. The police. Possible. I'm thinking the police or this Leo and the police, the light side Leo and the police. How would that resonate? I heard Pisces, um, Libra, Gemini, and Leo. They could have Pisces, Libra, Gemini, or Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, Hebrew, Jupiter. Um, those are the dark side energies. And then you have the Leo light side that was wrong. But the police are about to come back and apologize and... Um, some other kind of positive series of chain bits are going to occur with that. So you plug it in how it resonates. Share your messages you have for you. Share your messages you have for you. Some serious secrets are about to be revealed soon that many people do not want revealed that was done in the dark, but it's about to come to the light. Okay, I heard some serious secrets that many people did not want revealed are about to come to the light. So what's done in the dark is coming to the light energy is what I'm feeling. So you plug it in how that resonates. That's kind of broad, but you plug it in how it resonates. And a dirty foreign police officer is about to be indicted soon. And their connection with the Pisces feminine is about to be made known very public. It's about to go very negatively for this Taurus. Lovers. Oh, my God. Oh, Pisces feminine energy in here strong today. Okay, so there's a dirty police officer Taurus. So they could have Taurus in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter, Masculine, and Fin, Taurus. You plug it in how it resonates. But um, however that resonates, the dirty cop, Masculine, or Fin, Taurus has had some kind of love affair with a Piscean, Piscean, um, Pisces, Fin. 
They can have Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Venus, over Jupiter. The Taurus can be masculine or femme, but the Piscean is a femme. Um, but they're having this love affair with this Pisces fam, but it's about to come very, no very public, very known. So I think they were trying to keep it very hush hush or secret or under the table or what have you. But it's about to be made very well, very well known. And I heard this Taurus is about to be indicted soon. Indicted, so that's like charged, like grand jury energy. That's what I got from Google definition. Unless there's something else that happens with an indictment, I don't know. I don't work in the law enforcement or legal sector. That's just what I got from Google definition, but some kind of indictment energy. It's not good. I'll tell you that. Um, but I heard they're a dirty cop. So they have done something horrible. Um, huge theft, huge invasion of privacy. Okay. I heard a huge theft and huge, huge invasion of privacy. So they have invaded someone's privacy, person, people, place, situation, or family's privacy, and a huge theft. So I'm assuming that's why they're going to be indicted. Some kind of charge, heavy charge energy. I mean, like heavy charge. I, I don't think it's like class C misdemeanor energy. I think it's like felony S type energy over here, which is um, serious. But apparently they're having some kind of affair with this Piscean femme. They're trying to keep, I don't think so public, but it's about very, very, very public soon. Very. Okay, I heard very, very, very public soon. Very. And it's going to mortify a Gemini. Okay, I heard it. It's going to mortify a Gemini. It's going to mortify a Gemini. So it's going to extremely embarrass a Gemini. So I think this Gemini is either connected like romantically or maybe it's a family member or a friend or whatnot of this Taurus dirty cop or a family member, friend, or a relationship or, um, or something of that nature, partner, S-type energy of this Piscean fifth. You plug it in how it resonates, um, how it resonates, but it's about to go really badly for this um, Taurus, apparently. Dirty cop energy. Six of Pentacles upright, three of swords reversed. Someone's about to send a very large secret donation soon. This person has really helped them heal many hearts in their life. Very healing person. Aquarian energy. Virgo energy. Piscean energy. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Such Pisces energy. Holy crap. So if this resonates with you, um, you could be the one getting sent this donation. Very large secret donation. Um, you could be the Virgo, the Piscean, or the um, heard Virgo, Pisces, and Aquarius. So you could be a Virgo, Pisces, or Aquarius that's being sent this very large secret donation. Or you could be the Virgo, Pisces, or Aquarian that's sending the very large secret donation. However that plugs in your life, if that resonates for you. But however that resonates, there's a very large secret donation I heard about to be sent out to someone that I heard is very, very healing to somebody. Um, I heard they've helped them heal um, in many aspects of their life. I heard they're very healing. So um, they've helped them heal something. It could be a heartbreak. It could have been um doing healing and shadow work or or helping them find confidence in themselves or helping them with some kind of information to help them get on their feet or um just being there for them in some kind of healing aspect maybe an emotional support or something of that nature but um it's there they have lots of healing properties and it's really helped this person now however they have helped heal them um, I think it's with their words or information or support or something of that nature. Um, I feel it's either, it's, it, I feel it's either a Pisces, Aquarius, or Virgo that's about to get sent this very large secret donation or Pisces, Virgo, or, um, um, who was the other one? Pisces, Virgo, um, or Aquarius is about to send the very large secret donation. How would that resonate? 
This is the very large secret donation being sent, and this is um, healing. They're healing. Three of Swords reverse. Three of Swords upright is heartbreak. They're healing from the heartache or heartbreak or abuse or trauma or um, something, something horrible that's happened in their life. But I think it was, I think it's on many aspects. This person has helped them heal from, or you have helped them heal from. How that resonates. That's really beautiful. An Aquarius is realizing they are starting to catch feelings. They might say something soon. Oh my God. Whoa. I heard an Aquarius is starting, uh, realizing they're starting to catch feelings. They might say something soon. Aquarian energy strong in here. So you could be the Aquarius or someone dealing with the Aquarius. They could have Aquarius or you could be the Aquarius um, and have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and for Jupiter, or it could be somebody you're connected to. But some kind of Aqu some Aquarius out there in the universe is realizing they're catching feelings. It could be uh, from this person that's helped them heal in some shape, form, or fashion on many aspects, possibly. But you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. We're already 26 minutes in. An air sign that once stole money from their sibling, they cannot steal money from anymore. They are about to be indicted soon. Some an air sign, some, some a fire sign. Holy crap. Whoa. Okay, so air sign and fire sign energy in here. So, um, air sign or fire sign, um, hopefully you're not the air sign or fire sign that stole from your sibling. Um, you could be the one that got stole from. You plug it in how it resonates, but you could have the air sign or fire sign sibling possibly. But some um, air sign and fire sign sibling, I heard once stole from their sibling. Um, but I heard they cannot steal any more from their sibling and they're about to be indicted soon. So, you could be the sibling that the air sign or the fire sign or both of them stole from you. Um, or you could be connected to someone um, connected to this sibling that got stole from and the air sign and the fire sign stole from the sibling. Or you could be the one helping catch these two assholes um, and indicting them that stole from the sibling because they stole from their sibling. So it's an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Manhattan, or Jupiter. Aries, Leo, Sag. They could have Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Manhattan, or Jupiter. Air sign, feminine. Air, water, not water sign. Ooh, I want to say water sign. Fire sign, masculine. Ooh, I want to say water sign. Maybe, maybe a water sign's involved, or maybe your water sign is going to help indict them or give information or something. Um, ooh. A particular water sign is about to step up in this situation in a huge way. Reveal some huge information to very important people to help this situation. Indictment energy. Oh my God. Well, okay. Well, then maybe I said water sign for a reason. Okay, so we have indictment energy going on in here. We've got a dirty cop about to be indicted. We've got two siblings about to be indicted. We've got, there's a lot of indictment energy in here. How that resonates, but... I didn't even know what the word indictment was until like a freaking month ago. I had to Google search it. Um, but now I do. Uh, but however that resonates, I heard basically um, these two stole from their sibling. Air sign femme, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, feminine energy. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Feminine, Hamer, Jupiter. Jupiter. Aries, Leo, Sag, masculine. They could have Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Feminine, Hamer, Jupiter. But these two stole from their sibling. Now, I didn't hear the sign on the sibling. This is the person they stole from. But I, I heard, I said water sign in here, but I didn't hear water sign. But then I heard 
uh, water sign is about to step up and deliver information on this situation. So these two can help get indicted, basically. Um, and it's going to be very, very helpful. Very. They were sworn to secrecy, but they are about to step up. Okay. Okay. So water sign was water sign masculine. Okay. It's her water sign masculine. Okay. So a water sign masculine. Now, however, this water sign masculine is connected to these siblings that stole from another sibling, basically. Uh, it sounds like some energy succubus and leeches and narcissistic energy, if you ask me. Just for real, for real. It really does. But this water sign masculine is connected to these people in some shape, form, or fashion. Uh, it could be a family member. It could be a friend or a frenemy. It could be an ex-co-worker, ex-neighbor, neighbor, ex-partner, neighbor, ex ex-situationship, um, ex-something, something, something. However, however. But it's a water sign masculine, and I heard basically they're... This water sign masculine is about to step up, step up and reveal some very important information on these two to help get these two indicted, to help get them indicted and charged. So some important information to help with this um, indictment energy. So they could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Manhattan, Jupiter. It's a masculine Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. He's going to help. I heard he's going to help with this. Um, because this one is the victim. This person is like the victim. They got stole from in a huge way by these two ass white siblings. So you plug it in however that resonates. Okay. Someone's about to get a package in the mail soon. A very nice piece of jewelry. Oh my God. Real. Real. Oh my God. I, oh my God. What the hell? Why are you going to put real jewelry in the mail? That's very risky. I hope they have insurance on that. I heard someone's about to get a very nice piece of jewelry in the mail soon. Real. If it's real, I hope you, if you're the one sending this very nice piece of jewelry, you might be the one receiving this very nice piece of jewelry. Energy is very reversed. So you plug it in, I'll resonate. So maybe for some, you're about to receive this very nice piece of jewelry in the mail, but I heard it's real. I hope they put insurance on it um, because that's dangerous if they don't put insurance on it um, and send a very nice, real piece of jewelry in the mail. You're not talking about no $2 wish item. Um, just saying. So for some, you could be receiving this very nice, piece of jewelry in the mail, real piece of jewelry in the mail. For some, you could be sending it, but if you're sending it, I hope you put some insurance on it because I heard it's going to be real. It's not going to be like no $2 wish item. So, um, you plug it in how that resonates. Holy crap. Why are you sending it? Through the, why are you doing that through the mail? Somebody get to rob somebody. Let me see if I hear anything else. My God. And someone's about to get a furniture shipment to their home soon. Furniture person picking out furniture already paid for. What? What? What the hell, man? So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. So one of you do one of you guys have a sugar daddy or a sugar mama? I mean, I didn't hear that, but I feel maybe one of you guys got a sugar daddy or sugar mama. Um, I'd love to know if you do. Um, of course, you don't have to tell me, but um, you can put in the comments below or you can text message me. But I'm feeling I didn't hear sugar daddy or sugar mama, but somebody's getting some expensive real jewelry in the mail, and somebody's about to get a furniture salesperson come to their door and basically be with a limit of. It's already paid for, and they can just pick out whatever the hell they want to pick out. So it makes me wonder if you got a sugar daddy or sugar mom. And I'm just being for real, for real. I'm not call. I'm not accusing anybody of that, but that's what it's sounding like. Why? Um, it's already paid for. So just saying, just saying. I mean, hell, that's very nice. But 
Lord have mercy. You must be having, you must be putting out some good sex. I'm just saying, just saying. Let me see if I hear anything else. I'm not saying you are putting out good sex. Um, I'm not accusing anybody of that. But why are you just getting a random furniture salesperson come to your house and you, it's already paid off and you can just pick out whatever the hell you want to pick out? I mean, kudos to you. Hell, you go with your bad self. But um, it just makes me wonder if it's like sugar daddy, sugar daddy, sugar mom energy. Just saying. An Aquarius is about to reveal a huge secret to a fire sign feminine soon. Heavy Aquarian energy I'm in here. Oh my God. Heard an Aquarius is about to reveal um, a, very, a huge secret to a fire sign fem soon. So you plug it in how it resonates. If that resonates for you, uh, you could be the Aquarius for revealing the huge secret to the fire sign fem, or you could be the fire sign fem that's getting the huge secret revealed to you. Maybe you, fire sign fem, are getting the furniture salesperson come to your house and you're able to just pick out whatever the hell you want to pick out, or you're receiving the real jewelry through the mail. However that resonates, um, I don't know. I feel it could plug in that way for some of you guys, for some, possibly not. Um, if you are the fire sign PM, you could have Aries, Leo, Sag, and your sun, moon, rising, Venus, world, family, team, or Jupiter, if that resonates for you. Aquarius, if this is for you, you could have Aquarius and your sun, moon, rising, Venus, world, family, team, or Jupiter. You plug it in how it resonates. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. Namaste.